Good evening. It is 4.20. <laughs> and today was my niece's birthday. It's 11.11 p.m. So it is still her birthday until midnight. Happy birthday, beautiful. I love you. Okay, so this is to document my dream from last night and it was kind of wicked weird but cool all at the same time okay so in my dream it was nighttime I was just getting off work and at first I'm standing upstairs looking out the window I notice that it's nighttime. And then um I walk downstairs. I walk outside and um I see this gentleman standing there. He's native. He's a little bit younger than me. Um I'd say he's probably 25, 30, about there, I don't know, but he's talking to me, but he's um, communicating telepathically, but I don't even know if that's the the way um, you say it, is because when he looked at me, he wasn't speaking, but when he was looking over at me, it's like, I already knew what his message was to me in a sense. He was like, I have family here. Um, I have friends here. That's how I um, came about to be in this community. He's like, yeah, I just got out of prison. I'm still on DOC for eight more months or something. But yeah, I'm just... What did he say? He was, um, I don't know if he was just getting off work. I think he was. I think he said he was working housekeeping. I just got off work and I'm heading back home to Kent in a little while. But he's like, here, let me show you something. And uh, so he showed me this photo on his cell phone. And that was the weird thing. It was weird, but it was cool. Like, but it was scary at the same time. Because he had this photo he was showing me. And it was, I'm watching this show called Mountain Monsters. And he was showing me this this photo and it was um a dark spirit type thing that was from from the forest is what he said he's like it's from that forest of that show you've been watching and so he showed me this photo on his phone but it came um to life in front of me but only for like a few seconds you could tell, like, when he took, like, not he, well, maybe he took the picture. And it was one, two, three, four. And that's how long I saw the photos, like, four seconds or so. And then it stopped, but it was that, that black spirit image. It was only for, like, four seconds appearing in front of me. Like, it was real in front of me, but it was from the photo. And then, after the four seconds, the photo went away. Back on his phone. And then he opened up, like... He, like, moved his phone a little bit again. And then... That spirit, whatever it was that was caught on the phone, appeared again in front of us. And it appeared for four seconds. And um, I stood back away from him because I didn't want it to... I didn't want to be around it. didn't want it to touch me or nothing. But, um, yeah, that was really weird. 
But he's like, yeah, everything from that, from that place is real. He's like, those people on the show are doing that for show, but everything there is real. The wolf is real. The lady of the woods is real. That little um, Indian girl is real. All of it. He's like, it's all real. And that that spirit that I saw was real too. And that spirit from the photo just looks like um, it had like, it was just, you know, some spirits appear as people or as things, but this spirit was just a black blob, like just black energy. Kind of like if you spilled um, a paint, a thing of paint, or you spilled a thing of black ink on paper, and it materialized, you know, as a spirit, that's what it would have looked like. But it was weird because um, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Like he opened up the phone, showed me the photo, and then it appeared in front of us, you know, real big, like, and um, it was probably as big as a basketball. And it drifted for like four seconds in front of us. One, two, three, four. And it stopped, and they went back in the phone again. But it was only drifting as, um, because that's how long they actually filmed it, or to, to take that photo of it. But yeah. So I'm watching Mountain Monsters, and everything from these last few episodes are real, and I know that. And to me, it was like more of like a spiritual reality type. Because um, even though we didn't leave outside of the casino where I was, where I work and where he was working in the dream as well, he still brought me to that place. And that place is on the East Coast. He brought me there and showed me everything was real. All these spirits, all these energies, everything is real. But even though we didn't leave, the outside of the casino um, here. He still brought me there to the East Coast. And I can't explain it because I was really there. And spiritually, I was really there with him. And he was showing me all this stuff, all these different spirits and energies and lights. And I can't explain it all. But he told me, yeah, everything is real. So, yeah. That was my dream.